In this video, I'll be talking about generating patterns. So we're gonna generate some patterns and we're gonna start with 288 and use the rule divide by 2. So we have some blanks here and we're gonna fill in this. We're gonna start with 288 and then use the rule to get the patterns, to generate the patterns. So we're gonna divide by 2. That's 144. 144 divided by 2 is 72 divided by 2 36 divided by 2 18 divided by 2 is 9 now how can you divide this 9 divided by 2 so since it will give you a decimal so we'll just leave it as a ratio or a fraction so just 9 divided by 2 or 9 halves and that's it that's how you generate your pattern now let's have another example. So we're going to generate a pattern starting with 2 and use the rule uh, add 3 then multiply by 2. So let's have this blank and we're going to fill in these blanks. Start with 2 and we'll add 3 so it will be 5 times 2. It's 10. Then we're going to add 3 which is 13 times 2. 26. Then add again 3. Uh, 29 times 2 58 then add again 3 that's 61 uh, times 2 it will be 122 then add again 3 plus so 122 plus 3 is 125 times 2 is 250 then plus 3 253 times 2 506 so that is the pattern that is generated from the rule add 3 multiply by 2. So how about this? So we have some uh, some numbers. There's a sequence where some of the parts of the sequence is uh, blank. So we're going to fill in that. But first is we need to know what's the pattern of this sequence. So let's identify the rule. The rule for this sequence is, so how will you know the rule? Then we're going to start looking at the, the first two numbers, 15 and 19. So this is this might be plus 4 because 15 plus 4 is 19. So But you have to confirm it by doing the same to the next uh, two numbers. So 19 plus 4 is 23. So it's the same plus 15 plus 4 is 19 and also 19 plus 4 is 23. So the rule for this sequence is plus 4. So we're going to fill in now the, the blank. So 23 plus 4, 27. So of course 27 plus 4 is 31 and so on. So we're going to add 4 to 35 to fill in the remaining blank. That's 39 plus 4. That's 43. Then we still have some blanks, two remaining blanks. We're going to add 4 to 59. So it will be 63. And plus 4 to 63 that is 67 so that's how you do it if it's like this and it's usually harder than the previous one because the previous one you can just generate it directly but here you have to find the hard uh, hardest thing in this part is to find the rule and how to to follow the pattern but here in this case it's just simple but there are some problems with the multiple steps not just add but it, there are two operations involved. So let's have another example. So we have this, and we're gonna find the rule or the pattern for the sequence. So let's look at the first two numbers, 58 and 52. So it might be minus six, 58 minus six is 52. Now let's confirm it with the two pairs. 52 minus 46, okay, that's also minus 6. And to make it sure, you, let's let's continue with 46 and 40. Subtract 46 and 40, that is also 6. So that means the rule for this sequence is minus 6. And now we're going to use this to fill in the blank. So we're going to subtract 40 by 6 to fill in the first blank. So it will be 34. Then 34 minus 6 is 28. Then we'll have 16 minus 6, that is 10. Also negative 2 minus 6, 
that's gonna be negative 8 and that's it those are the blanks that we need to fill in so another example so we have here this sequence and we're gonna find the rule for this sequence so let's look at the first two numbers 2 and 6 so probably it's gonna be plus 4 2 plus 4 is 6 but 6 plus 4 is 10 now we cannot have 14 by adding just plus 4 to the 6 so the rule is not plus 4 so let's try to find some other rule so observe that the, the sequence is getting uh, is increasing rapidly from 2 and then for um, the rest of the path the numbers it becomes bigger and bigger so if it's just simply adding then it should not be this big but so if, if if there are numbers which are really big with just few numbers of, of from the sequence then probably there is multiplication involved so let us um, try multiplying so let's say two times three is six so maybe the, the rule is times three but then six times three is 18 then that's not 14 so that means times three is not true for this sequence or maybe this involves two operations so let's say 2 plus 1 is 3 then times it with 2 it's 6 which is true how about 6 plus 1 is 7 times uh, times 2 14 it's, it's true so maybe it's plus 1 times uh, times 2 then how about 14 and 30 to confirm that's really the sequence 14 plus 1 is 15 times 2 30 all right so it's it's true to the three pairs and we're gonna have another rule so the rule is plus 1 times 2 so we'll do the same for to, to fill in the blank so 30 plus 1 is 31 times 2 62 then the next blank 62 plus 1 is 63 times 2 is 126 then for the third blank, it's just 254 plus 1 is 255 times 2 is 510. Then for the fourth blank, we're going to use 2046 plus 1, 2047 times 2, it's 4094. Then for the last blank, so we're going to use 4094 plus 1, 4095 times 2 it's 8190 and that's it let's have another example we have this number and we, I mean this sequence and we're gonna find the rule for this sequence so let's figure out the rule now the number it starts with 8 and it gets bigger a very big number 19,000 so probably it involves multiplication and even if you do addi addition, 8 plus 6 is 14, but 14 plus 6 is 20. So the next number is 32. It's not 20. So obviously it's not addition. And it, it should not involve addition. Uh, it, it should not be only addition because uh, it involves very big numbers. So probably it's a combination of operations that involves multiplication or probably just multiplication. But if it's just multiplication, 8 times 2, 16, you cannot have 14. Maybe it's 8 times 2, 16, and then subtract 2. So it will be 14. But if you will do to 14, 14 times 2 is 28. Uh, minus 2, it will give you 26. So it's not, the, not 32. So it's not the rule. Now how about if you just subtract 8 by 1? So it will give you 7 and then times 2. So it will give you 14. And then 14 minus 1 is 13 times 2, 26. So it's not 32. So it's still it's not the rule that we are looking for. So how are we going to find the rule? So what's the rule for this uh, sequence? So how about um, we're going to do, do it with times 3 because we tried times 2 and then subtract 1 to get 
um, at subtract 2 to get 14, it won't work. So maybe it's times 3. So 8 times 3 is 24. Then subtract 10 to get 14. So it's times 3 minus 10. So now let's try it to the next uh, pair, 14 and 32. So 14 times 3 is 42 minus 10 is 32. So it's true. Now how about for the next uh, pair? So although it's true to the first and second pair, but we will still confirm it with another pair to make sure that it is the rule that we are looking for. So 32 um, times 3. So what's 32 times 3? That is 96. And then subtract 10. It will give you 86. So it's really true that the rule is times 3 minus 10. So I'm going to put it there, times 3 minus, then minus 10. So let's have now the, let's fill in the blank. So the first blank we're going to do 86 times 3, then minus 10, it will give us 248. Then for 2,192 times 3 and then minus 10, it will be 6,566. So the next uh, bank, we're going to use the 19,688 times 3, then minus 10 to give you 59,054. Then next uh, number, we're going to times 3, the 59,054, then subtract by 10. It will give you 177,152. And that is the pattern or the sequence for this problem. Thanks for watching and I hope you have learned from this video. Please support my channel by pressing the subscribe button and also write the math topics you want to learn in the comment section.